Let's talk about the pros and cons of reverse osmosis system, for brewing especially, and we'll do it in under five minutes. Daft Cat Brewing for Beer. Brewing and event videos. First up, let's deal with the pros. If you've got any taint in your water, if it's got a funny smell or aroma that you might not want in your beer, an aero system's a very good way to clear that up. I remember judging at one competition where the first beer smelt a bit strange. And I thought, I'll just double check. Picked up the water jug, had a sniff of the water, which was just normal tap water in that area. And for sure, that's where the aroma was coming from. It was coming from the tap water, not the beer. But I wouldn't have realized that if I hadn't thought to check. But as I had rinsed my glass using that water, the beer smelt funny as well. That's one good use of an aero system to remove flavors and aromas from your water. Consistency is another good pro. If, like us here, you have water from different sources throughout the year, then you never know what your mineral profile is going to be coming out the tap on one day or another. Some year, uh, sometimes throughout the year we have water from underground aquifers, which has got a very different water profile to when we have it from overground reservoirs. You can of course ask your water company for a water profile, but that will be an annualized average and whilst it's an average throughout the year, it probably bears very little resemblance to what's coming out of your tap on any given day. And then of course there's what most people consider the biggest pro of all. You can build any water profile you want. It doesn't matter if you've got hard water, soft water, if you want to brew a pills, you can brew it. You can make a very soft water profile. If you want to brew a Burton Ale, you can do that. Freedom, it's all up to you with one of these. You can brew with whatever water you want to brew with. You just have to make it up yourself. Now let's talk about some of the cons. First up, there's the issue of waste water. Now I covered that in my last video, so I won't go into it here any more than just saying that it's not like turning a tap on. For every litre that comes out the tap, you don't get a litre of RO water you will get some bypass or flush water. So I'll put a link up there to that video so that you can have a look at that. Next up, let's talk price. So this one with a pump, 150 gallon per day membrane and three stages will run you about 140 pound. You can save money on that by going for a 50 gallon per day membrane or by going for a system without a pump. But be aware if you haven't got a pump and you haven't got good water pressure, it may take you anything up to a day to run enough RO water for a batch. You will also find that without a pump or without high pressure, you get more waste water than you do with a pump. Also on price, these filters and the membrane need replacing regularly. So depending on the number of stages you got and what the capacity of your membrane is, that can range from 15 to 50, uh, to 50 pound a year. So just factor that into your costs. It's more complicated. You can't just turn the tap on and start brewing. You run your aero water, you then have to dose it with minerals to get the mineral profile you want. So that can be anything from one to four or five different chemicals you have to add just to make the w correct water profile. It's easy enough to work out. There's tools, spreadsheets and books that can help you do this, but it's just another step and you can get it quite wrong if you're not careful and you put the wrong chemical in. And then finally, there's the time it takes to produce the aero. So with this system here, in the last video, I showed you a real-time clip of it running, and it took about six minutes to make two litres of aero water, which is great. But if you haven't got a pump, it could literally take all day to get enough water for a batch, in which case you can't just do, I fancy brewing today, and get a beer on. There you go. In under five minutes, that was the main pros and cons of Aero systems. Let me know below if I've missed any. 
Remember to hit that like button and subscribe. Thanks for watching Daft Cat Brewing.